Hi guys, I'm Ben Haynes and I'm joined by Lucy Bronze and Georgia Stanway as we're going to play a little game we call Generations. So we've got Georgia, we've got Lucy with me today. Thank you so much for joining. No worries. Thanks for having us. Right, let's start with the first single or album that you bought. So Lucy, you can go first as our slightly more senior lioness in this one. <laughs> I think mine was album was probably like the Spice Girls or something. Amazing. Mine was actually pretty similar. Mine was Girls Aloud. There's not a huge gap between the two. And I remember being a bit scared to go to sleep at night when I was younger. So I used to always put the Girls Aloud <laughs> song on. <laughs> As if, as if Girls Aloud were going to protect you from anything. I know, I know. Girl power, that's why. Lucy, can you remember what Spice Girls album it was? The, like, very first one, probably. I, d I don't want to stitch my brother up, but he was quite into it as well. Um, so I think it was Two Birds With One Stone my mum. We had the... Uh, this might be George might not have. We had the cassette tape, you know, like the tape for, like, the... It had, um, like, the world tour on it or something. Yeah, I've never had a cassette tape. Yeah, like, straight to a CD. Do you remember, Lucy? Would you do you ever have to do the thing with the cassettes where you got the? Yeah, my brother used to do the thing where it come on the radio and you have to wait till the guy stops talking on the radio <laughs> and the song starts and you'd be like record. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie, you would have never like, done yeah. this. You would have never awful. done this. Yeah. <laughs> you would basically try to record the song on a tape without having. So you didn't have to buy the song. You used to make like compilations. Yeah, my, my brother did loads of stuff like that. Your poor brother's getting absolutely sledged in. Um, <laughs> top fan of the Spice Girls and a awesome. pirate. I wasn't allowed to touch anything, that's why. I used to just sit there and watch it and be like, no, you can't do it, I'll do it, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia, is it all completely foreign to you? Yeah, I don't have a clue. I just have Spotify these days. <laughs> okay, next one. First film that you watched at the cinema? This one actually took me a while to think about, but mine was Happy Feet. Yeah. I think mine was something like Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin? <laughs> Aladdin when they hadn't like, quite moved to like proper graphics. It was like still being drawn. Yeah, like the cartoon, not like, yeah, like, like all the cartoon Disney films. I think I went to see them. <laughs> it was when you used to go on holiday to see like... You'd go on holiday to say like Turkey and then you'd come back with 10 films that haven't ever been played in <laughs> And you used to bring them back and watch them. They was unreal then. What, uh, Happy Feet was in 2006, I've just seen. Yeah. Oh, That's wow. late in the day. Yeah, that's... that was late. So how old was I? Seven. That's, that's a decent, to be fair, your parents like put it off for a little bit. That's nice. The girls always rinse me because I'm the worst at films. So, like, I've just never really seen many films. I couldn't tell you the name of any film. I'm just useless. It's probably because they're all in Turkish, mate. Probably because <laughs> <scored, laughs> I'm bored of watching probably. them. Probably. Yeah, all the dodgy ones. That sounds about right. <laughs> when the lips aren't in line with the actual words. <laughs> Good one here now. First player that you pretended to be in the playground. But, well, I'm from the North East, aren't I? So, Alan Shearer was the big one. Mine was exactly like Lucy, Alan Shearer. But that's because you support Newcastle, though, isn't it? Yeah, and that was because it was like um, in the family, so Newcastle was like in the family. But I used to have a shiny, I still have it to be fair, a shiny Alan Shearer match attack. Really? I used to take that everywhere, and I used to think I was him. So you... I gave it to my nana, was a big fan, so I gave it to my nana. And then just before my nana got, died, she gave it back to me. So it's like a little like memento. Oh my God, that's... so do you still carry it with you? It's upstairs. I took it to my very first England camp um, and then I was a bit like, right, I need to grow up now. But it's upstairs. <laughs> Can I just confirm for both of you that after you scored in the playground, you did the, the sort of run off arm in the air? Oh, yeah, everyone did that where I was from. <laughs> the whole playground's off. <laughs> <laughs> just everyone with one arm up. <laughs> Let's fly on. First major tournament that you remember. This is going to make me feel so old when Georgia gives her answer. So, Lucy, you can go first. Georgia's was 2015 when we woke up. <laughs> it was! <laughs> <laughs> Get out that of it. That is horrendous. That I'd watched, like, religiously. Um, and I remember even, like, setting an alarm and getting up in the night watching the game, going back to sleep. <laughs> Lucy, what was yours? 
I didn't really watch the tournament, but I remember 2002 because Ronaldo, when Brazil won, Ronaldo had the haircut. It's some weird little. Well, my best friend at school, he did that. No <laughs> way. I remember doing that, but I don't. I, I don't say I, I really followed the tournament, but I always you just the haircut was iconic. iconic. Yeah, and all the lads did their super haircut, and they looked ridiculous. <laughs> but I think after that, at the tournament after probably because uh, it was in Portugal, one at the Euros in 2004. So that was the first time I got a full kit. And it was a Portugal full kit. And obviously Portugal knocked England out as well, didn't they? So you're running around in a Portugal what kit? Portugal. Oh, they just knocked England out? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Georgia, your first tournament was 2015. Do you remember a certain Lucy Bronze scoring in that tournament? Yep. Yeah, unbelievable goal. I knew that she was cool because she went over and she did that um, handshake with uh, Jordan Nobbs. Jordan. <laughs> so I was like, right, Lucy's cool now. <laughs> That must have been so weird then when you like guys hook up to play together. Yeah, so literally I joined City like midway through that tournament. So then I went into training with City um, and then a week later they all got back from the World Cup and I was like, oh my days. Georgia was a fan Georgia was a fangirl for about two I was years a after proper that. fangirl. What like embarrassing levels of fangirl. Yeah. yeah. She used to stare at everyone. I wanted to know what it was like to be the best. Like, whatever anyone would do, I'd, like, stare at them and then I'd do it myself. And I'm like, right, that, that's going to make them get to the top. <laughs> did you notice her doing this, Lucy? Yeah, everybody did. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's go on to your first pair of boots. I love this question. Love hearing what people had as their first pair of boots. Do you remember the lime green mercurials? Oh, yeah, like the lasers. You, yeah, and they used to have, like, a pocket where you used to tuck the laces in. Yes, I do remember them. They so were I really had them. Cool. So my brother had them and I remember I turned up to training and they were like three sizes too big, but I still wore them. I remember just having like flipper feet and then afterwards <laughs> my mum was like, why have you worn them? And I was like, because they're unreal. The, the thing is with materials as well is that if they're too big, they're quite slim. So they just look yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, They just look like balls. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, what was yours? I used to wear my brother's boots as well, but my first pair, my mum bought out Argos catalog. The Argos catalog. <laughs> but there was there was Nike. They were like, you know, the total nineties before they got the, like the little ninety thing on them. Yeah, yeah. It was like the ones before that. I think I had a pair of them. They like a little swiggly spider's web on it. Yeah. Did they have like the a tiny little fold down tongue, like a small yeah, one, like a little rectangular one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just said yeah. total ninety on the top. Yeah. They were, they, I think I had them. I think I had them in some weird, ugly sort of gold kind of colour. They were just like, I must have like such an idiot. I remember the Total Nighties were big and everyone used to have even the AstroTurf trailers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. then they did the, do you remember, You maybe you won't remember this, Georgia, but they did like the Scorpion <laughs> advert. The Nike advert. I had to explain, oh my God, they re-released the Scorpion boots, didn't they? This yeah, year. yeah. And I had to explain to all the girls about the Scorpion advert and the football. That's I outrageous. Football. I had the football when I was younger. Did you? The, the silver, silver football? One. Yeah. Look at Georgia's face. Like, she's literally like, <laughs> what are these two idiots talking like, about? Girls, I remember Lucy having to explain it because there was a few of us. It was like me, Kira, and we all got sent these boots. And we was like, we didn't understand the craze behind them. And then Lucy was like, oh my God, like, you're just so young. This was like, honestly, it was the, the most amazing thing. The cage advert with the yeah. like Maldini and everything. Yeah. Have you watched <laughs> it now, Georgia? No, I've not. I've not seen it. Oh my! This is killing. I almost want to stop. I almost want to stop to just do five <laughs> minutes of you watching watching well, that. They, it's they didn't grow up with all them Nike adverts, like, <sighs> and like the at the airport and stuff. Me and Lucy Stanipoff used to recreate them in the back garden. <laughs> 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 so good. <laughs> okay, tell me your first phone. Oh. Mine was a baddie. Mine had a little aerial on it. No, you had a pull out one. I had a little screen about that big, and it was about that big, and it had a little aerial like this. But I only got, I got, my dad used to give me it when I went out with my friends. So it wasn't my phone. But when I went out at night, I'd have this brick in my pocket. Did you, like, what, did you ever, like, let anyone see that? Or would you. Just... Yeah, I was like, I've got, no one else had a phone. I was like, I've got a phone. It was about that big. <laughs> Yeah, I went through the whole Nokia 3310 stuff. George, what was your first one? My first one was a Samsung Taco Light. Okay, something a little bit different. How old were yeah, you when so... you were allowed to get a phone? 
I think I was like year seven at school, so maybe like 12 or 13. Yeah. Do they have a coloured screen? Yeah, I had a coloured screen, so it was like two phones. So either, like at that age, you either got the Samsung Taco Lite or you got the LG Cookie. So I got it from Tesco Mobile. Come on, sat it in my, sat it on my knee. Like I was obviously playing it, trying to set it up in the car. I remember completely forgetting about it. I jumped out of the car and it just went straight down the drain. <laughs> Luckily, there was like a, like a, like you know when it's like quite full, so it's not like that, that high. Um, and my dad like reached down and got it, and then it was in rice for the next week. <laughs> Classic rice trick. No. You won't even remember this, Georgia, but like Lucy, do you remember having to text to get like ringtones? Yeah, yeah. The adverts on the telly, it was like text this number for, a, or you get a ringtone and that, and they'd play the little stupid, awful ringtone. It was like polyphonic, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, poly- <laughs> it was meant to sound like the new Spice Girls. And it was like, <laughs> 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 And you're like, yeah, I'm getting that. It was like three pounds or something. You would have just nicked that off your brother. I know. He knew all the, all the cheat codes and everything. First social media app that you had? I think mine was Snapchat. Oh, come on. Shut up. Come yeah, on. I, was. I, don't, I, never... I, was, I was dead late to social media because I just wasn't interested. So I was dead late to it, but I remember I had Snapchat. Georgia actually doesn't text people. She actually texts people on Snapchat. Like, it's... <laughs> The thing I've ever seen. Pain. It's just, it's just like you just get used to it. Like it's, it's actually easier. Because you know what's better is you go on the message and you actually have to open it to see what it says. Otherwise, I read a, a WhatsApp and you read it and then you forget to reply. And you can send pictures easier. So if you like, this is what I'm having for my tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm send what I'm for my tea. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, what was your first one? Probably I had a Bebo. And then, nice. I remember me and Lucy standing for we made a, um, a Pixo website. What was a Pixo? What was that? It, you could just like, it was like a place where you could just make your own website, but it had to be pixo.com. What? So do you do you put stuff like what you're doing on? Like, do you sell stuff or? No, like, I just made a website. Talk like absolute bongo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we spoke about like steaks. Please, can we find this? This Steak Appreciation <laughs> Society that you and Lucy's dad do <laughs> Favourite fashion trend growing up? I used to have my hair in, like, dreads. Yeah, I remember jo- Georgia turned up to train on one day with her hair bra- fully full-on braided, like I could see her scalp. <laughs> see her scalp? She used to tell us about how she used to do her hair like that and then I think Tony Duggan might have been like, dare you to do it. And Georgia being the big fan girl that she is. <laughs> oh my word. So I used to always have my hair like in like dreadlocks. You look a little bit confused as to why you've made that decision in the picture. That's just her happy face. <laughs> <laughs> like the death stare. <laughs> Lucy, what was your first sort of like fashion trend that you followed? I don't think I was that fashionable to be honest. Well, I wasn't. I'm not even going to try and. Yeah, I wasn't fashionable, but I was obsessed with football boots and trainers. And I remember the first time she bought me some Nike Air Maxes. Oh, I thought I was proper, proper <laughs> on the playground and stuff. I still think it'd be cool in, in this day and age now. There's certain Nike trainers that just look sick all the time. Yeah. So I remember being obsessed with trainers, but the other stuff, I was not fashion forward at all. No way. Is that why she moved you to the Argos catalogue? Yeah. <laughs> She used, to, she used to take me to the, um, you used to go to, like Sports Direct and, that and get your football boots. Oh, I used to love that trip. Yeah, I did, apart from, this is this is what happens when you're a little girl and you go, is that they go, oh, I have these ones, and I go, no, I want the real ones. And the guy at the shop goes, these are the real ones, and I'm like, they're not the real Stop ones. Stop lying. <laughs> Stop lying. My mum's going, I don't know, and I'm like, trust me, mom. They're not the real ones. He's trying to give me fake ones. I want these ones. Just because I'm a girl, like, I, I know football boots. Like, you, already, no, you always knew as well because it was like a £60 price difference. Like, yeah, don't, most don't, expensive ones. I'm only getting one pair of boots a season. Don't cut me yeah. off. Don't like give me a half ass this. Okay, who was the first poster that you had on your bedroom wall? So I was never ever allowed posters on my wall. So my mum was like, put something on your wall. You're going to damage the walls. Um, and I was like, come on, like, blue tack nope not putting anything on the walls but i remember i had a david beckham um like calendar like year annual calendar 
That you was the only thing I had. You were allowed a calendar? Yeah, I was allowed a calendar, but I was never allowed to put pictures on the wall. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, I was, I was allowed to do all sorts of paint walls I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go mad with it? Yeah, I used to change my, my bedroom walls all the time. But posters, I had some... Uh, at one point, I had Pele. I don't know how I, I came to... And then another poster they had was 50 Cent. 50 Cent? <laughs> yeah, of course. The... <laughs> The Pele link. and 50 yeah. Cent next <laughs> to Yeah, at 50 Cent because he used to listen to all his music. Me and, again, this is Danny Ford. We used to absolutely live on his music all the time when we were younger. See, that's another one that Georgia won't remember that, that album coming out. Get Rich or Die Trying. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> In a club. Yeah. Huge. That, that all them songs, uh, I yeah, he was my poster then. I'm trying to think what Georgia would be writing in a calendar. <laughs> like, what <laughs> you actually, what <laughs> did you get a calendar for? Like, what important events were you marking out? She was like, get braids done. <laughs> <laughs> Probably writing down, I've got PE that day at school, I've got science. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one, your favourite childhood book. I had the big roll doll book that had all them. Oh, nice. It had like all of his stories in one thing. I had that big, big hardback. One. Yeah. Really, yeah. I always used to like the pictures in it, like the drawings that they do in it. But yeah, <laughs> like um, James and the Giant Peach, I think was my favourite. Do you know what? I'm not a reader. <laughs> so mine were like... Just in general. Mine were like probably nursery books. <laughs> so there was, there's, one's called, there's one called Flora's Blanket. And that was about a little rabbit that lost a blanket in the fridge. <laughs> and then there was another one which was like um, a girl that was in the boys football team at school. It was called Pass It Polly. My mum used to obviously read it to me and she'd be like, and George is going to pass it to her teammate. <laughs> so she'd change all, the, she'd change all like, the names in it so it was like to me. Georgia wasn't listening at that bit though when she said pass it to her teammate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Lucy, that was really? somebody else called Georgia. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Like, that's not me. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for both making me feel incredibly old and nice and nostalgic at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs>